Scotland. So today we're going to Edinburgh, Scotland. Going back to my my ancestry. I found a good deal and I went for it. So uh, this was at the end of January, beginning of February, I believe, just a few weeks ago. So I went for it. of tourism in the city all the expensive restaurants and expensive Starbucks and all that stuff but see how peaceful it is in the morning sorry about the slightly tilted view there my gimbal was not adjusted right This is a monument you'll see in all the tourism photos from Edinburgh. They always get this viewpoint at sunset, but I thought, well, let's see what happens if I go at sunrise, see if I can get a good view, and I think I did. The sky isn't super interesting. As you can see, it's just pretty much blue, <laughs> but I think it's a good shot, and it turned out pretty well, I think. This, this is just the walkway around Calton Hill, so peaceful, no one around, and I took advantage of it, just sort of enjoying the city. These are my favorite parts of the cities anyway, the, the more nature-y parts. And, uh, you know, like in Kyoto, I really like Kamogawa River going through the city. And this is like an escape. It's always a nice escape from the city. The nice thing about this trip too, although I had kind of confined myself to Edinburgh um, by choice, I had also decided to go meet up with a friend who's working on his PhD. He's like his third year in his PhD, which is probably the roughest time. I, I, he seemed pretty stressed out, so I had bought his lunch for him and we went out for some beers after. <laughs> but he took me on a tour of uh, St. Andrews, uh, so I went across this bridge, this first of fourth I do regret it because I didn't have a chance to go out here and get a shot of the bridge, uh, you know, at sunrise or sunset. That is sort of a regret of this trip that I should have just gone out and done it. But I got to see it from inside the train, which is pretty cool. I like trains, <laughs> like being in trains, riding in trains. Whoa, there's another one. Yeah, so Edinburgh is nice. Ne next time I definitely want to go up and travel into the highlands and go hiking and go see nature. Uh, kind of realizing more and more that I'm more interested in the nature, which is good because I want to be more tr landscape photographer, but also combine that with travel. And I'm going to be in cities and you know out in the countryside, so I got to appreciate both. But I definitely wish I, I would go out and go check out the, the countryside more. So, note to self. <laughs> I, I've found that the same thing in Japan, really, too. Found, okay, yeah, I, I kind of like these small towns that are out of the way, kind of harder to get to, off the beaten path, kind of. Uh, maybe it's just the feel of more uh, serenity and more isolation, and <laughs> I'm kind of attracted to that. Also, sort of like, you know, less tourists around, and it just feels like, you know, I'm finding out my stuff on my own. I'm not following some tour guide. I'm just happen to, happening to end up in places. And that, that seems to be sort of the most magical times of, of these trips. I think just sort of going out and getting lost. Not getting lost necessarily, but exploring, getting off the beaten path. So next time I go to Scotland, I will go to the Highlands and get off the beaten path a bit. <laughs>